Hey everyone, welcome back. Welcome back to the channel. I it has been very long when we really interacted. I think more than two months, uh, more than that. Yeah, so I was quite busy. I was traveling a lot and exploring some of the places. So I could not upload any video on YouTube. But this is the new year and we are back. And today we are going to start uh, one series that will focus on streaming use cases. So we will be covering Spark streaming, Spark structure streaming and Kafka. So this I am targeting to complete uh, within coming months uh, near to March or April. Okay, so yeah, so we will start with Spark streaming to give the context why I have choose to create video on streaming. So I have found that there are very few resources which are really good and which are really in depth and they are not there there are resources but not many are up to marks and not many are very uh, are not many are in easy terms uh, it's hard to understand and streaming is a growing industry right so somebody is a data engineer software engineers they have to work streaming after some times or within their career uh, it's very much asked nowadays right one has to understand what streaming means, uh, how does streaming systems work, how does Kafka work, how, how does Spark streaming work. So we will be discussing all those things and to set more context why I, have, why I am starting with Spark streaming, not Spark structure streaming. So I think two or three months back uh, I got one project in Walmart itself uh, which was written in Spark streaming. And then we have got the requirement to make the new version of that project. And there was the major changes. So I have worked on a Spark structure streaming before, but not on a Spark streamings. And I found that there are very few articles on a Spark streamings. As Apache Foundation has stopped uh, producing, uh, giving support to a Spark streamings. But I think that a Spark streaming is a good way to learn. And a Spark streaming is a good way to explore the uh, streaming world because the code is very low level right if one can understand the low level code it's very easy to understand the higher level code right and it's easier to visualize the streaming world uh, using a spark streaming so mostly we will be using a, uh, we, we will be reading all the concept of a spark streaming and then we will be shifting our focus uh, to a spark structure streaming and then we will go to kafka so uh, uh, with that, uh, I have created list what we will be covering in Spark streaming. Uh, so let's start that. Okay, so we will be covering this many topics from Spark streaming. So let me go one by one. Okay, so in Spark streaming, the first thing that we will be under uh, we will understand that what is real time processing. Okay, that what does real time processing actually means then we will understand what is the importance of real-time processing by one example so i will be giving the example which i recently done and why uh, real-time streaming is so much into uh, demand and uh, the use case of that then we will try to understand the batch processing versus real-time processing okay that is the third point then we will understand what is spark streaming okay what does spark streaming do what is the role of that why we use a spark streaming and why it is a legacy project okay then we will try to understand the three uh, terms which is very much important to understand that is the d streams rdd messages and records cool perfect okay so uh, if you understand these three terms it is very easier to visualize the streaming world okay and i will go uh, into each terms in a detailed way when we start our series then we will understand what is batch duration uh, this is the sixth point what does batch duration actually means uh, and how it is used in a streaming world then we will understand what are different types of producer in streamings differences between all these producers so there are producers like kafka kinesis socket consoles so we will try to understand the difference between them then we will understand spark streaming by a simple program we will try to write, uh, write the code and this series it's not a theoretical course it's hands on course okay here we will do, we will be doing multiple hands on and we will try to uh, write the code and try to understand by that we will talk less and we will do more okay 
then we will under, understand what is stateless or stateless versus stateful transformations there are actually two type of opt of transformation one is stateless and another uh, is stateful and we will try to understand that okay then we will try to understand the difference between the stateless and stateful transformations by using some of the uh, transformations uh, and by writing the code actually and then we will understand write the code about uh, code for uh, code using reduce by key and update state by key and we will try to understand the difference between these two and this two will help us to understand the difference between stateless and stateful transformations then we will understand what is the difference between uh, what is the meaning of window time and sliding intervals which are very much used in streaming world and very important topic we will try to understand the meaning of that then we will try also uh, give one example to understand the sliding interval concept i will try to talk in a very layman terms so everyone can will be able to understand okay then we will try uh, discuss reduce by windows and reduce by key and window i think i written the same thing uh, but uh, i will just update it we will understand count by windows uh, using that we will uh, understand the sliding interval concepts then we will use uh, join in streamings and we will try to understand how can we uh, from uh, perform joins in streaming thing like stream stream join stream data set joins and then we will understand different output operations in streamings and then we will have uh, one uh, uh, integration of spark streaming and kafka integrations where we will try to see how we can actually connect kafka with the spark streaming and write our code okay so kafka we are going to discuss in the last but i will make you uh, aware about the simple terms about kafka and we can actually write the code not a big deal then we will also try to cover one end to end project with the spark streaming which will involve spark streaming mongodb and kafka okay so let me just write it down okay we will try to do one project and uh, see without doing project only talking about the terms will not make sense so we will also try to make one project we will take our times uh and whenever i will be getting the times i will try to upload the video we will try to keep it slow and steady so everyone uh under understand the concept feel free to write your comments feel free to write your thoughts in the comment sections now i am mostly free i am not traveling to different cities now so i will try to uh, revert back that comment and uh, try to solve your doubts so that's plan for spark streamings if you are having any doubt feel free to know uh, me in comment sections and please share with your friends subscribe the uh, subscribe to my channels yeah let's connect in the next video and uh, start talking about spark streaming and learn the spark streamings in a better way and in a little terms bye for now thank you